Okay, you guys, I'm here with something really special this week. As you can see, it is a Mustang, and this is the totally new 2024 seventh generation Ford Mustang. This is the EcoBoost, not the five liter V8, but I will have that here soon. This is vapor blue metallic, and it does have some uh, like glittery fleck in it, sort of metallic-y, um, although it doesn't look like it from afar. We have 18 inch black wheels and black grill, the black pony on the grill. I love the contrast. We also get a black roof. It's hard to tell, um, but it is a black roof as well. No sunroof on this spec. And I have to say, I've, I've only driven this on track in California in July, I believe it was. We did some autocross and some drifting. It was a lot of fun but I haven't spent a lot of time driving the EcoBoost before this week and I've had it for this entire week. And I have to say for a four cylinder, it is super fun to drive. I will talk about that more. Let's go for a drive. All right, super, super fun to drive uh, this 2.3 liter turbo four EcoBoost gets 315 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque, standard 10-speed automatic transmission. And honestly, I am shocked at how much fun this is to drive. Um, I know the five liter V8 is gonna be a lot of fun too. I have that soon, but I mean, it sounds great. It's very peppy. I love the drive. I know that the V8 is going to be, the GT is going to be a lot of fun as well. I remember driving it in LA, but there's just so much to be said for this one, for a $50,000 sports car, classic muscle, classic Mustang, uh, and so much fun for a four cylinder. And I should mention comfort, surprisingly comfortable seats. We have. Um, really good bolstering, it's holding me in. Uh, the base, I believe, comes with cloth seats. So these are definitely a step up. I would recommend uh, this premium trim. All right, let's get in closer and have a look at the black on black grill with the black pony. It looks so good. The body style isn't that different from the previous gen, but it did get a good redesign. I think it looks amazing. As you can see, black roof, that is an option. Black deck lid spoiler as well. And then classic Mustang tail. Classic Mustang quad exhaust. And let's have a look in the trunk. Quite a bit of space. 50-50 uh, folding seats. I believe there's a spare tire under here, yes. 12 speaker uh, b &O audio system, it's really good. There's the subwoofer in the back. Um, I will say as loud as I like to listen to music, it rattles the door a little bit. Let's check out the back seat space. All right, this is in my driving position. So the seat is all right. It's a four seater. These seats feel really like scooped out. We do have latch, so two latch for um, car seats. And let's have a look. Let's bring this back. So I believe that is in my driving position right now. So I don't have a horrible amount of room but like this is very, very little headroom and I'm five foot one. So if I was like a six foot tall person, I don't know that I'd want to sit back here to be totally honest, but I want to show you the seat belts. I love the black and gray, the striping on the seat belts. They're so cool. And, and I'm pretty sure that's not an option. I think that's just part of this premium. This is the premium trim but I don't think backseat comfort is the reason anybody's buying a Mustang. This interior and all this tech is the biggest 
change for this new generation Mustang. As you can see, I have one huge piece of glass for the uh, instrument gauge cluster and the infotainment is wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. We have an optional wireless charging pad in here. I love how simple they've kept this. It's really just a few touch buttons. I'll give you a closer look yet, but let's start it. And honestly, for a 2.3 liter turbo four cylinder, I think it sounds amazing. And you can customize your exhaust sounds. There's drive modes, there's launch control. There's so many goodies, even on this EcoBoost. You don't need the five liter to get all the fun of a Mustang. We even get uh, memory seating as well. Gorgeous leather flat bottom steering wheel in this premium, a red start stop button, some really great graphics. I know it's hard to see with the sun shining right on them, but this screen is totally customizable as well. And then in here, And the wireless CarPlay has been really good. I've turned off the Bluetooth on my phone so that it doesn't uh, connect uh, automatically when I start doing video. But the CarPlay has been really great. As you can see, it's all dual zone climate. We have heated and ventilated seats in here. I love these controls. They're quite um, functional. We have vented as well. And then our heated steering wheels in here as well, right here an automatic climate. And then at the touch of a hard touch button, I'm gonna press that pony and I'm gonna go into the My Mustang settings. We have track apps, we have uh, ambient lighting inside. I think it's uh, 120 colors or something like that. Uh, change our instrument gauge cluster, different settings. on then we get uh, USB USB-C optional wireless charging pad and a 12 volt there as well and I do love this red start stop button so what do you think of the new Mustang I absolutely adore this car I have had so much fun driving it this week it really surprised me with how much fun it, it was to drive and it is not as expensive as I thought it would be. So the uh, base, this is just one up from the base Mustang. This is the premium. So the Mustang starts at about 39,000 Canadian dollars or around 30,000 US dollars. This one has the uh, performance exhaust. It has the night pony package, and then it has an equipment group that gives it navigation, co-pilot 360 plus, which is advanced driver assist features. And so it has a few options on the premium. So this one will set you back just a hair under $50,000 Canadian and about 43,000 US dollars. And honestly, I think that's a bargain. Like I said, I've been really surprised at how much I've loved this car and I was expecting it to be a little more expensive for how much fun it is. Now, you're probably wondering, Connie, you haven't talked about the five liter V8, the GT, the convertible at all, because I'm getting it soon. I have it soon. I will review that one completely separately. I drove that one again in Los Angeles in July on the first drive event, and of course I love it. And I've always loved the way the uh, five liter GT sounds. I mean, the exhaust on a Mustang just sounds like nothing else out there. So that one is coming soon. Stay tuned for that. But what do you think of this EcoBoost? I am floored. Even my husband, who's a total car guy, was floored by how much fun this is to drive and how quick it is for a turbo four cylinder. You need to try it for yourself. Leave me a question or a comment and we'll see you soon.